just talk into the camera and edit after. Hey everyone. So this week, stuff happened, but like, realistically, not a lot of stuff. And that's been a problem for me. Basically because I see these vloggers out there who are like jumping off cliffs and sailing yachts and doing this awesome stuff and I'm here working. I kind of want to tell you about what I want this to continue as. So here's what I propose. I want to keep on making videos to learn how to edit and do music. I want to learn this plot and to do that I need practice and so I'm going to make videos. and it feels pointless to me to make videos and not share them. So I'm going to share them. I think what I'm going to do is stop posting them on Facebook, just post them on my YouTube channel. So like, if people want, you're welcome to view them, but they're not in your face anymore, you know? This mentality that I need to keep up with the Joneses, or keep up with the vloggers, has been a serious mind adjustment that I've been going through the last couple of weeks. And that realization that I am not Casey Neistat, I am not Ben Brown, I'm, I'm not surfing every day, I'm not uh, jumping out of airplanes, you know? And that's hard for me. It's hard for me to not be those things. The super awesome thing about starting to create my own story instead of trying to follow what they're doing is that I'm going to create stuff that I want that's going to be unique to me. So let's say I want to make a film about church culture or growing up in a small town in Ontario. These things that the other vloggers, they can't do. That's not them. I can do these because this is who I am. This week I fixed my car. So I mean, yeah, I don't think fixing my car is a... Hey, so I'm driving to a co-worker's friend from work to fix my car. It's sunny out. It hasn't been sunny in probably a month or two. Got the old one out. So I went back to the garage to see if it, like, it would pass the test after I fixed it. And it did all as well. The car is good. So that is resolved, which is so good. In Vancouver this week, we had our first snowfall, which was awesome. <laughs> And the last thing I want to talk about is this movie I just watched before I started recording. It's Casey Neistat, the vlogger guy I like, his friend Oscar made a movie, and it's pretty awesome. It's a documentary about cities around the world and trying to look at them critically about what parts of them could be used to make a better city in the future. I ended up here because I was looking for the city of tomorrow. And we do less damage to nature when we occupy less of it. We're not going to make our planet grow and thrive by continuing to sprawl out. They're basically saying that when density is done right, it's the best, if not the only, solution to our growing climate crisis. So is future urbanization going to be a good thing or a bad thing? All right, well, you've probably heard enough of my voice. That's it. Have a good week.